Good morning. I am Dr. Sridhar Kalyana Sundaram. I will be sharing a few short videos which are going to uh, help parents about specific things they look for in their newborn and their children. In this video, I will discuss about a uh, very important concern that parents have, which is, uh, is it blood that is seen on my newborn baby's nappy in the first 3-4 days of age? So this happens fairly frequently. So uh, parents often email me or contact me with a picture of the nappy showing pinkish orange stains. So this is not uncommon. This is due to the urate crystals that sediment on the nappy. The urate crystallizes when the urine is concentrated and the newborn is shedding more urate as well. Uh, it's very important to reassure the parents that the baby is relatively dry as you would have noticed by the relative weight loss, the slight increase in jaundice and so on. So when the mother's milk starts coming, when the lactogenesis stage 2 is established, the urine starts increasing. That's one of the earliest and important signs that the mother is producing enough breast milk. At this stage, the urine starts getting more dilute and this crystallization will stop. How do we differentiate from blood? Obviously, this is a pinkish orange hue. Blood will be deeper red. And obviously in a girl baby, some vaginal blood stain discharge can also be seen uh, due to maternal hormone withdrawal. So don't be confused with this. I mean, you can see it coming from the vagina while uh, the urate is usually sedimented on the nappy because the water gets absorbed and the crystals are sedimented. So if you notice any of your family members mentioning about this, reassure them and support the feeding. That's the most important point here that uh, the urine is dry. Uh, the baby is dry and the urine is a bit concentrated, so you need to give the baby more feeds. Do not give formula just because you have urate in this urine, because uh, it's a normal phase. A mother's milk starts increasing. You can refer to my videos on breastfeeding support on how to increase a mother's milk output. So focus on those aspects and this will get better with time. I hope uh, this is helpful. Please share. Thank you.